Right, hey guys, welcome back to today's episode. So, in this episode, we were down there cutting that field. That is our plan to get that finished off. So, we'll probably tick. We bought the Bygos pit because it wouldn't allow us to keep stuff there. We couldn't cut that bit of grass, but we're free anyway. Unless I've altered a pair of fries or something in a mod. But you'll have to be the judge on that one. So I bought this land for grass. <coughs> and yeah. Based on my reactions and views from the last video, you guys said to turn it into crop. Well, I had, I had likes for crops, and I had comments for keep as a grass. Now, with that, I had more comments. I've had more comments, etc., than the grass. That's a steam train now. Yeah, so I've had no oh, So yeah, that will be an issue really. I will probably take away the hill. But when I say take it away I might put put it in as a path or something. Just because we're struggling to get all the way up to the top. So what I'm trying to do is just trying to keep it all nice and straight and then we can run straight down with that. Get it tethered, get it windward and get it finished. Because by the time this episode is done I'm hoping to be finished out of this field. Possibly just ted it, to give it a ted over, but the majority of it will be done. Plus we can cut through Bygos area now to get to the shop because we own this field. Providing we keep to the side of the track only. As you can probably guys as imagine I've got the the day set up as one one two three, so three two is now mid spring. Just because a lack of jobs really on the farm there's, there was a lack of jobs really to be doing and I'll struggle to find a job each day yeah there's probably be one lurking about somewhere but it might not be enough to cover half an hour and plus I've not worked out how I can do time lapses since I'm recording from the PS4 and if anybody you if any of you guys know how to time lapse that would be wonderful it will mean that I can combine videos together and put time lapse onto them. And I can pause the recording and I can short stuff out. But yeah, I'm trying to focus on keeping a load of stuff good so it's not boring for you guys. So sort of like I one episode up there, fertilising and seeding it. I got all that into one episode. Plus we can hire workers on this map, so it is better. The survival challenge I do. Yes, I will have to do a follow-up towards the end. But yeah, I'm aiming to do 50 episodes anyway on both on my, all my maps I'm doing with you guys. 50 episodes. So that will be 50 per day, as you can imagine. 50 episodes per... per um, if we can go on, we can go on, but it depends on what I'm looking at, so that'd be like four years. I love to do quite a good length of time though on maps. Because then I'll probably keep the maps and maybe persuade, progress to something else. So, 
I'm probably forget I'm probably looking at progressing to um maybe American maps. Yeah, they are a challenge. Yes, I will be able to make it into a survival challenge. But it will be more difficult. And with that amount of difficulty per episode. It'd be more fun just to see how far we're getting 50 episodes. And yeah, I will probably have a load of higher workers for American maps. Just because it's much easier and I can get more stuff done. So I can have a higher worker cultivating. With a modest size cultivator. Because the small equipment doesn't work for American maps, I've tried it. That's why I prefer English maps because the field sizes are smaller and they're more dense. Or oh, no man's land, that's not English, but I prefer it because you can do your own fields, you can make your own field sizes. And yeah, if you look on the experimental stuff that I'm doing, both on my traits, I do a lot of experiments, so that's, my no that's where my no man's land comes in. That's why I've got no man's land on my traits, because I can experiment around with it, whereas Chellington, yes, I could have it on my traits, but the experimentation doesn't start. So I'd rather experiment all the time on everything. My headset's not great today. I'm going to like short stuff out here with my headset. I'm sure I can get to you. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying these episodes because I'm certainly enjoying making them for you. And yeah, we probably will Eva silage this field. I don't know if you've been today's episode, but yeah, we'll either silage it or bail it. Now I'm thinking because we've got this, we haven't got a loading wagon. I'm thinking we bail it and we turn them into silage bales. But there we go. We've only got a couple of thousands of pounds. Would we? turn them into silage pails or would we just leave it? It's how I do it from now, it's where it's... But yeah, where the house is there, that house back there behind me. That'd be where I'm thinking of putting machinery, so I'll probably short it out, probably maybe cultivate it over or something. And then I'll probably store all my machinery that I don't store at the main farm back there. So what I don't store at is Killington Farm Barn we call it. I'll store it up there because it's if if I could put a shed up there, yes it might say it might not be a lab, but just on the back here. That wouldn't cost me a lot. But yeah, I might store some machinery in there. It's better to having it all up here rather than having it scattered in places. It just doesn't look neat if I leave it. If I have all my machinery elsewhere, It'd be better just all in one place, but let me know your views what I should do, because I might just, I might turn it into a plant area. Plus, yeah, it might even be better. Cut some of those trees down is my very thinking, and look at it that way. 
you let me know your views and I'll tell you my views. So yeah, I'll probably do a few run down. Run down of that row. Which will be now. So yeah, I won't be able to get too much. We'll get all the way into the back up, up that hill. Now, yes, I might get it with a small alarm where people, viewers will tell me, but that's again what will I get? Will I get the same amount as what I'm getting, or will I get a little bit less? So I'll have to come all the way back to here again. So yeah, I'll probably inspect that field of wheat and see what's going on with it. If it's ready today, we can do something with it, but if it's not, and I don't think it will be, it's possibly going to be sometime, not this episode, not the next episode, in a week's time, possibly. It'll be ready. It's planted, it's not saying growing. Well yeah, you'll have to let me know. So, what have we got? Have we got a wind blower or have we got a tether? Or have we got nothing? So I'll probably just check through the star now what have we got. Yeah, we haven't got anything. We've just got the roller wheel and it's no good yet. So we'll ted it. And then time next episode comes, it will be dry. So yeah, we'll give it a TED now. Oh, we can't even buy a good, good TED, can we? Oh, great. Right, this is where we sell stuff. This is not what I want to sell. I'm going to sell that for now, because we can get it back. See the fertilizer, no we need those, need those. Front weight so can that one can go anywhere. We only need one. It can share a tractor. 
It's the Baylor. I don't want to keep Baylor's really. Oh, I saw the hang on. I saw the header. You ain't got the header. I haven't got the header for it. So I've kept the combine, but I've got no header for it. Oh. Oh, work, but I'm going to have to sell the combine. We'll get a, oh no we won't, we'll get a combine when we're ready for the process, we'll sell that for now. Just and then we can think what we need. 16,000... What's that one like? Yeah, we'll go with that one, I know it's that much, but we can sell it. Because wind rowers were looking at... That mod, that modded one I'm thinking about, or possibly that one. So I'll have to go down to the store, but that's okay because we can go through our field. And by the looks of things, oh no, by the looks of things, we now own Bygos and everything. We own that plant, so we could sell it, but we don't get a value for it, so we might as well keep the plant. Oh no, we don't want to buy that. But yeah, we've got all that now, so it's better for us, in a way. Since the bygones were free though, we might as well take it, we're going to get the rest of field 18 that we deserve. And yeah, it's better for us really. So what I'll probably do is I'll, yeah, leave this gate open because we'll be driving back in and out. But, when I finish with the wind rower today, I will put it in that shed, yeah. I'll keep it down here because... I'll need it for the cow field back there, what we've got. We don't want to be going in the water, do we? Yeah, I'll need it for what we've got for the cow field. Oh, well, I'm at it. Let me just check our animal pens are open. It. We'll go to that one. It's open. It. There's somewhat glitching that animal pens out. Really glitching it, and I don't know what it is. So, if any of you guys know what the glitch is because it didn't work for no man's land but now it works so if you guys know what it is or know what could be suspecting it and I'm gonna put it out on my social medias that is a really bad glitch and I don't know what suspecting it from opening please let me know because I could yes I need animals but I've got the pens but I don't know what they are. So what I will do is I will drive this back and then we'll go third person to do it. We're we'll try and get it done nice and quick, get a win, we're we'll ready. And then we can bail it. Because if we let it, if we do, if we try not to do, if we try to do a little bit more than what we need to in this episode, we don't have much to do next episode. It can be a bailing episode next time. And it's, yeah, I've got to work out what do I put as the title for this video. But I'm not going to say too much now what I'll do with the title. But every episode I'm thinking of a title and I think specifically like what do I call it? And if any of you got any ideas to give me a bit of a hand and a help So what I'll do is I'll just ted it now go all along with it. That brings it light but not too light. Come silage. When I say come silage, 
come diverting it out, it's gonna be me messing about with it really. But in the long run, it's better. What I'll do is I'll just go around the headlands. And yeah, it would be nice to have a faster tractor, but that's a long term goal. I've tried this before and I've tried selling the new Holland straight away. Well, not straight away, but once I've got some money in from my grass, because I couldn't get my crops to come out. And I sold the new Holland and it was a really bad mistake. Because the new Holland is a lifesaver. Without the New Holland, you can't do the jobs that you need to do. But yeah, we should be, at some stage, ready to crop it next time. Which, yeah, it might seem strange, but I've got it. I've got the land how I want it. I've got what I want on it. I've got it all ready. It's up to the next stage now this. So whatever I do with this now, I could... Looking at it on the map, it's not... Looking at the land, when you pick first buy a piece of land on this game, it's not the same as in real life. When you first buy a piece of land in this game specifically, if you've not seen the land properly before, you only think it's small, and that's why it's a grass field. But this could potentially be a crop field as well. Because potentially I could. I could say. Potentially I could just say, right, grass up half of this field, vertical, so the way I'm travelling now I could grass half of it, maybe where the bygos is on that side, so I can just drive over the grass bit, and then this side, with the side that I'm on now, crop it. But you think it's... When you think when you're buying it in this game, you think you're only buying a small piece of plot of land. And it's not always the case. I think if you don't know your fields, you need to be able to visit them and I think that should be a priority in FS twenty one. I'm not saying that it will be, but I think that should be one of the things. But yeah, I'm gonna go through a bit I'm gonna do a video though on FS twenty one from from what I've been reading of from my viewers, I'm going to do a video of FS21 telling you the pros and cons of modding. Well, not mods, but pros and cons of what's new, what's expected, what people are really wanting in FS21. I've got a list and I'm preparing a video for you guys. And yeah, you're probably thinking, yes, you've seen a lot of these videos before. It's just going to be the same. The way I'm going to do it is, I've got it set up, really. And I might even do it on here. I might get a load of tractors and I might just talk, sit and talk to you guys. How I do it, at this moment, is... It's I don't know. I'm thinking of doing it just like a normal episode and I'll just talk to you about FS21 that way. But there's a more, more subs, substantial way I could do it as well. I could do it as an episode of something else. 
I could just sit there and talk to you, but it depends on what you guys want to see. Do you guys want to see me on the farm? On Challington, for instance, and just talking to you that way? Or do you want me to do a video? Now, if I can get my, my webcam from PC onto a PS4, that would be a great help, because you better see my face, and that's what I'm looking into. If I can do that. If not, then it's me gonna be sick there. But yeah. If you're not already, guys, because I know it will cut out on me, and like it always does, please make sure you like and subscribe to the video. And for more content, click the like button yeah make sure you click the like button guys and make sure you like and subscribe and leave me a comment and let me know what you think of these videos because as I say I do I can't do all this without your guys help and for the subscribers I've got I'm so thank you, thankful for, to you all to help me out. So yeah, I'll stop that there. I'll jump back in. Whatever time we've got left, we will make a start going down and getting a window. I'm not saying that I'm going to do it today. Probably the next episode now. But yeah. It probably probably won't be today. It probably be next episode or the episode after that. But if at least I can get the wind roller sorted, I can bail it. Oh god, no, 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 bad, bad, bad boy. Oh god, no. I can get the wind roller and I can bail it. Sorry about that. Can listen. And yes, if you there guys, leave me your PSN numbers or your PC numbers or your Xbox numbers in the comment section down below because I'm thinking of setting up a competitive multiplayer series. Not sure what day yet, probably weekend when I've got more time. Don't know why that's not opening but... It's strange. So yeah, I could get a forest off if forward draft red chair. I wonder what you can have these on. You can have them on a normal tractor, can you? Mm. It would be nice to fit them onto a normal forager. Without a forager, but I'm not sure. Would they go onto my machine really? That's a blow in it, that's half oh, a fruit food temps. Headers are attached to forest harvesters. Mm, yeah, so I'm not sure there. Probably just put them on the wind rower for now. And I will learn, no I won't, I won't lease anything that. Um, I will just lease something simple out, I'll probably just lease that out. I'll probably just buy that out right. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the episode. And make sure you smash the like button and subscribe. No way, yes it's right. Engine cool temp 64. 12.80 oil for oil pressure. Speed from 